I love seeing similarities between our bodies and our lives. This morning I was thinking about how when we have injuries, right? Most, probably a lot of you, if you've been injured, you've been told this by a chiropractor, sports, massage, trainer, somebody, that like, let's say your knee, you got a knee injury or an ankle injury, what will they almost always tell you? Your knee is not the problem. It's, it's above or below your knee. Something's pulling on it, creating that problem. Your ankles hurt, it's probably not your ankle. It's something above or below that's pulling on that joint creating the problem. And I was thinking about this in terms of our lives when we're not doing something that we want to be doing when we're not, you know, let's say for an example, we make a goal that we want to start working out in the mornings and we just keep not doing it. And what I see is most people are like, Oh man, I just I gotta get on that, man. I just, that's the problem. I just, I don't know. I'm just not going that morning moment when you're not going to the gym that's not the problem. The problem is outside of that moment. Just like injuries in our body are somewhere above or below on the chain. Just, it's just like that in our lives. So for example, if you want to start, you know, doing a morning routine, meditating or working out in the morning, or you're having problems with like, man, every single time lunchtime comes or that afternoon hits, or when I get home from work and I'm all stressed out and whatever, that's when everything falls apart. That moment that is not the problem. It's everything before and around that moment that's creating that. So if you have something that you're trying to, you know, build a new habit in your life and you just keep not doing it, start thinking what is happening before I ever even get to this moment that's contributing to that moment. So why am I not going to the gym in the morning? Instead of just shaming ourselves and beating ourselves up, oh, I just keep not doing it, I suck. <clears throat> That is so unnecessary. It's let me hold safe space and ask myself, why do I actually think that's not working out? Mm, maybe because I keep staying up late. Okay. So why do you think you keep staying up late? Oh man, I got this pattern, man. As soon as like nine o'clock rolls around, I'm just like avoiding the bed. Mm, I wonder why you're doing that. What are you avoiding? When, you know, maybe I don't want to be alone with my thoughts. So I just put on Netflix and I start eating food and then I feel like crap when I wake up. So I don't go. Okay, now we're starting to talk. So the problem was not, I'm just not going to the gym. The problem was all that stuff before. And so on a very simple level, you can start with, okay, I am going to work on not avoiding going to bed. I'm going to start going to bed way earlier. Turns out nine o'clock is way too late to start thinking about going to bed. I'm going to have to start thinking about going to bed at seven. What? Okay. You know what? I am just not even going to watch TV at night. I'm going to find something else to do instead so I can start coming down. Maybe I'll actually read a book. Holy shit. Let's, let's try this out. So then it's like, oh, wow, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was really refreshed. And turns out I can go to the gym. The problem was not in the moment of I suck. I'm just not doing it. The problem is outside of that moment. I'm telling you. Definitely constantly seeing this. Let's say it's the eating thing. I get home from work and I'm just stressed out and I have no time and I can't care anymore and I'm burnt out and I just want to eat junk and drink wine and blah, 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 blah. That moment is not the problem. Everything else. Maybe you're not speaking your voice at work. Maybe you don't have boundaries at work. Maybe you need to work on having proteins prepared and stuff that's healthy, ready, fast for you, finding solutions there. And all of a sudden, you stop having those problems. But the solutions all came outside of that moment, right? So start thinking, what is leading into this issue? What is happening in me before I ever get to this acute moment that's causing this? In my very, very last days of binge eating crap, okay, because I definitely had that binge full, the full gamut, the very end of it, I, I've told this story many times, I was stressed out trying to work super late at night, burning the candle at both ends, and I kept going, I found myself, after I thought I had overcome these negative eating habits, I found myself going to the freaking gas station, I shit you not, as somebody who eats really healthy, going to the gas station and getting a donut late at night. And I was like, what is going on with me? This is weird behavior. And so I gave myself that safe space and I thought, okay, really though, what is going on? Like neutral energy, no judgment. What is actually going on? And it's, you're super freaking tired and you don't want to write programs at 11 o'clock at night. And so you're going to the gas station to avoid having to do that because by the time you're done with all this, you're just going to go to sleep. And when I gave myself that, it sounds 
Sounds very obvious from an outside point of view, but I guarantee every single one of us has stuff like this. Okay. So that's why I'm putting myself on the chopping block here as an example. I was like, what, what would you like, what would you like to do about this? And I was like, shit, man, I can't, I cannot work late at night. I got to have a seven o'clock cutoff. That's it. Game over, baby. Try again tomorrow. That's it. And so I made a rule for myself. You are not going to open that laptop after seven. So figure out the rest of your life and how you want to do your professional work and your timing, but you are not going to work after seven. And guess what? Tara never, ever, ever, ever had an issue with ever again that <laughs> it was simply a pattern that I had developed. And once I gave myself this space to say, what is going, what is actually going on? And changing everything before that was leading up to that moment, clean up my kitchen, get ready for bed, get in my bed, read whatever to come down. Well, now I wasn't stressed to the freaking limits and creating the scenario for that problem. Just like if you have a knee problem, how is your ankle or your hip creating a scenario that's pulling on that knee, creating the act that what you think is the problem, but is not the problem. It's around it. So think about that in terms of like, if there's a new pattern you're trying to develop in your life, you are going to like mess up. You are going to have days where it doesn't flow. And so when that happens, instead of being like, dang it, I didn't do that thing I said I was going to do. There's no shame. None of that is not helpful at all. Instead think, okay, okay. Yeah, that's not flowing on the daily. Like I thought it was going to, what is, what is going on the night before or during the day? What do I need to shift? Where do I need to own this and change those patterns around that actual moment so that actual moment can happen with much more ease? Most of y'all is going to bed. <laughs> going to bed early saves everything, changes everything. This is one of my favorite, favorite life hacks. If you can get your sleep schedule on point, and trust me, I have moments where it's not, and every single time I do that, I'm like, damn. Damn. So much of my life, so much of the goodness of my life is created by me getting to bed early and getting up early because otherwise I was telling my daughter this this morning, I was like, otherwise I'm in groundhog day. I wake up, hurry, boat, go to the gym, blah, 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 blah. Just do the same things over and over. And when I get up early and I have that whew, sacred space to meditate, do some personal growth work, really tap in. That's where I create my life in the forward progress of my life versus just existing in the same day over and over and over. Yes, there's a routine in that. She was like, wait, you had a morning routine. You're saying that's not Groundhog Day? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, because in that moment that I've created as a ritual, that's when I create my life. That's when I have time and energy with this fresh mind because I went to bed early so my mind is fresh to think, where do I want to shift from here? What matters to me? What am I focused on? Allowing source to come through me with inspiration of where that paved time. So if you want to work on one new habit in your life that you haven't, I can't recommend that one enough. The ultimate life hack. And that is why in higher in my coaching, that is why we have a morning routine. Medi 10 minutes meditation, gratitude practice, because if you're not practicing gratitude, you are not nearly at the levels of sensing the abundance that already exists in your life, which then gets in your mind. Wow, everything's available to me. That's pretty life changing. <laughs> and then a very, very quick and simple personal development practice each morning. You do that kind of thing. Your life is going to change for the better, for sure. And if you think you're going to do it like randomly throughout the day, you're kidding yourself. You're gonna, probably not, not consistently. If you have not paved time to have a consistent practice like that, it's, it's going to, you're going to get sloppy results because you're going to have sloppy actions. It's going to happen sometimes, not all the time. So, and then if you do decide to take me up on this and pattern something like that in your life, when you inevitably don't do it, maybe you did it two days out of the seven that's when you say, okay, what is actually going on around outside this moment that's causing me to not do that? Maybe I need to start going to bed earlier. What's going on with me there? Okay. You know, so just want to share that. Think about that because I see so many people beat themselves up and shame themselves. They're like, oh, I'm not doing it. Bleh. Be kind to yourself. Be self-compassionate. Just neutral energy. That's interesting. I wonder why. I wonder what's going on outside of that moment that keeps contributing to me not doing that thing. And when you solve that, you just pave the way for a knee that can operate well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, guys. I got to go. Much love to you all. Thank you for joining me. Bye.